What's up, fellas? It's your boy, Mark B. With Eclipse. Long hair in the beautiful city of Dallas, Texas. How is everybody doing this morning or this day or this afternoon, this evening? Whatever time you guys are watching, we're here picking up one of my employees. He's taking forever. I'm going to have to get on to his butt. I've been here waiting. I've, I've <laughs> I'm going to talk to him off camera, but we're in a little park. I think this is a, it's either Bishop Arts or Oak Cliff in the Dallas, beautiful city of Dallas, Texas. Nice little mural of uh, Selena. And there he is. Uh oh. Got your snacks? Yeah, bud. <laughs> oh man, I guess I better turn the camera off. All right, so we got the guys doing a flower bed trim or flower bed service which includes uh, shrub, uh, trimming shrubs, pulling out weeds, grass, and the flower beds. We've got the front yard, then we got the backyard. We're gonna go ahead and drop off the trailer here for them. I gotta go run some errands, bring them some water with some ice. Um, and then we do have water, but we're gonna go get some uh, more water. So we'll probably be here for a minute. Kinda give you guys a uh, before video then uh, once we get done, we'll show you the uh, the after. So there's baby. There's Miggity Mark. Finally got baby up this morning. All right, so I gotta go do a couple of stuff. Like I mentioned, we'll get some water for the guys, or more water, some icy water, and I have another flower bed service which uh my full service flower bed full service includes trimming shrubs all ornamental shrubs you know prune trim pulling out weeds and installing some kind of uh what do you call it i guess substrate i guess that's what i'm calling it. mulch rock whatever right so that is a full service uh, almost full service would be uh, everything except installing mulch and it's actually at a customer right down the street where we're at so we'll hit that up I'll bring you guys along for that Woo! I gotta I gotta go to the restroom real quick guys I was drinking some uh, orange juice I really don't drink much orange juice but orange juice sounded good this morning so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go see what I can do Picked up the waters, picked up some ice, filled up the cooler, and I'm about to fill up my stomach. Best breakfast burritos, hands down, over at Homeboys in Fate, Texas. So I'm gonna share with you guys what I'm eating. I'm gonna have papas chorizo, egg chorizo, bacon, pre-fried beans, all up in here, rolled up into one tortilla. Mmm. Definitely can't get any better than that. Mm. With salsa roja, which is a hot sauce. Very spicy. Mm -hmm. mm. Bon appetite, guys. Bon appetite. Whew. I'm gonna finish this up. Then I'm gonna get in, into that estimate, that flower bed shrub trim estimate. Let's go. All right, I was on my way to go do the flower bed estimate when uh, baby just called me. It was like, hey man, I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. It's duty call. So I'm about to go scoop them up right now from the work site, from the job site, and uh, take them over to a gas station so you could drop the load. Oh man, loving this day, fellas, loving this day. Ready? Oh 
man, look at the determination on that you face right there. My <laughs> there you go, Mr. Mark. Oh, come on, man. It's it's an emergency, right, bro? Yeah, bro. All right, bro. Gotta Let's get out of here. Gotta take it. Do it. I gotta take it, dude. Seems like I'm the Uber for duty call, man. It's been a minute. Been a minute, baby. Come on, baby. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so we're gonna leave the guys here. We're about to go about a couple of blocks down and check up on this uh, flower bed estimate, which means uh, we're not gonna do mulch this time, but she just wants an estimate for strip, trimming the truck. <laughs> Can't even speak. Trimming the shrubs and cleaning out the front uh, flower bed. I'm trying to control my. Uh, I got me some really good coffee, some very, very strong coffee, so it's making me kind of a little jittery. So I gotta hold myself down, contain myself. Hopefully I don't get uh, do extraneous work where I get so beat and crash and burn. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and head up here and we're gonna take a little look. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments how much you would charge if you were to do this job just curious let's see who comes close to the bid my bids are usually on the high side and that's just because uh we don't cut corners we do it right we make sure everything's cleaned up we do and we spray if we need to spray herbicide and whatnot let me see, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the camera. That way I could use uh, my GPS because I forget where it's at. Bear with me, fellas. Okay, so this is the flower bed we're gonna maintain maybe on a bi-weekly. Definitely overgrown. I think they're getting complaints from the HOA people, so. These definitely need to be taken care of. Lots of weeds, grass growing in the flower bed that need to be pulled out, yanked out. <clears throat> Just a lot of cleanup, a lot of flower bed grass, weeds that need to be pulled up, yanked up. And on this side, it's a little bit more busy. So we definitely have to take a lot of the BS that's in between shrubs the canis i don't know if they want those down or they want to keep them but if it was up to me i would actually take the canis out it just doesn't look right growing through this shrub right here so let's go ahead and uh, step back a little bit kind of give you a little overview of what we're looking at so we're going to trim prune Remove grass, weeds. I don't know, guys. Y'all let y'all give me. Uh... Here, let's go ahead and see if we come in here real quick. Would be an, a good fair bid for this to keep it maintained. This isn't going to be just a one-time thing. Of course, I may charge a initial cleanup fee just because they are overgrown. But then once we keep it maintained on a weekly or every three weeks or monthly maintenance, <clears throat> it'll be a whole, definitely a whole lot cheaper. So that's what we're looking at, guys. I have a number in my head already. And that's what I'm gonna send over to the customer here in a little bit. So y'all guys let me know in the comments below and see. let's see who the uh, who got close to my numbers and I'll let you know if we got the job or not more than likely we'll get it like I said I think we're gonna keep it maintained every other week and we'll just kind of see what what it does within that time frame if it looks like it could go maybe another week or two then we'll definitely do that if it looks like it's growing super crazy then we may have to do it weekly but we'll see guys we'll maybe uh i think 
every other week will be okay to maintain this flower bed. All right, guys, let's get back to the fellas and uh, see what they're up to now. We're back to see the progress, what these fellas are up to and what they're doing. And let's go ahead and take a little quick peek, guys. Man, those shrubs came out pretty awesome, guys. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> Awesome, fellas, awesome. So we got baby blowing. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. What a beaut, what a beaut. <laughs> but we got to now go back. Another call of duty, right? A duty call? We got a duty call? Oh, brother. Call on the duty. Oh, man, now it's uh, Mark Wayne that's on the uh, duty call. When, call it, when duty calls? Gotta get to action. Oh, come on, man. Let's go. Let's go ahead and get out of here before you I wipe it you all on my. Shampoo your seats. I know you already had the vacuum this weekend, but. Yeah. I don't want you to have to, like, shampoo. Oh, your seats. man. Because you never know what's going to happen if you don't answer the call of duty. You know what I'm talking about? I know exactly what you're Do talking you about. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Y'all leave in the I comments hope below. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't think we're ever going to get this job done, man. <laughs> The way things hey, are going, <laughs> the way things are going, uh, I've been man. the only one that's been on that job <laughs> since we got there getting it done. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Look, it's already almost lunchtime. I got an excuse. <laughs> I got an excuse. Bro, if you got to go bad, I found a, a nice little bush Did over you, here, bro. The yeah. bush? Does it have air conditioning? It, it don't have, no. Well, then it don't pass the... Could drop you off at that bush if you need to, bro. They don't pass inspection qualifications. It's got to have AC. All right. Nobody likes taking a hot dump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys. Stay tuned. Dang. Got deep guts. Stay tuned, fellas. Oh. Stay tuned. Hold on. And we, and we got another 100 subscribers. Do we? Got another Did... 100 subscribers. Bro. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. Thank everybody out there for subscribing. Hitting that bell notification, comment on the videos. Thank all you guys out there for giving me words of kindness, prayers, thoughts when I was sick. Thank you all y'all for being concerned, those of you that were concerned about me. And look forward to seeing y'all in the next video. Peace. Peace. All right, we're at the same stop that baby came and uh, dropped the deucey deuce. Deuce, brother deuce. So now we got uh, Mark dropping the deucer over here. <laughs> Oh man, I, I like to have I like to give these guys a hard time whenever duty calls like this, guys. You know what? Let's go ahead and get off, guys. So we'll give y'all a nice little scenery to kind of check out. I'm gonna show you guys uh, the traffic over here. I know somebody had commented they enjoyed watching the traffic the other day, so I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a quick quick gander of the traffic. This is actually I-30. I-30, let me see. That's I-30. That's going east towards uh, Texarkana. Going back this way west, you go towards Dallas, Fort Worth, west. That'll kind of give you a, uh, a point of reference of where I'm at right now. We're at this gas station where the guys, gentlemen, like to take dumps, take the doozers over here and whatnot, just because it's super cold in there. And uh, it's clean. It's got to be clean. Not like uh, <laughs> reminds me. <laughs> oh dang, man! Hopefully, hopefully this friend of mine. Let's get in here, guys, because it's it's a little too loud. Oh man! And I don't want to embarrass my buddy. I have a, have a buddy who uh, he worked construction, right? Let's close it up. Let's go ahead and turn on this AC real quick, fellas. Bear with me. I had a friend who, work, who uh, worked at a construction site. And, uh, you know, usually at construction sites, there's no restrooms, but they do have porta potties. And uh, my buddy had to go drop the deuce a deuce. And he, <laughs> and I, I noticed he, because he was like, man, I got to go take a deuce a deuce. Of course, he didn't say that. He said the other word. So he went in and I was like, hold on, there's no toilet paper in there. I was like, how's he gonna take the deucey deuce? We didn't have any toilet paper or anything. 
but I was like, all right, whatever. You know, he had, he had a, <laughs> well, to make a, a short story long, is he walks in, <laughs> and then when he comes out, we're thinking, how's he going to wipe his butt? And we're going to clown on him, like, bro, you sting like poop. You know, we're going to play around with him. Like, I know you didn't wipe your butt or whatever, because there's no toilet paper. But when he comes out, he comes out with a, without sleeves. Like, did he just, I think he wiped his butt with his sleeves. Because he had the long sleeve, kind of like the shirts we wear. But when he came out, <laughs> he didn't have any sleeves. So, oh man, I was just, I was just laughing. I was like, I already know what happened. So, he comes out. He didn't say nothing. I wasn't going to say nothing. And I just happened to ask him a few minutes later, like, hey, bro, how'd, where's your sleeves at? Oh, man, it got hot. It was hot, man. I had to rip them off. It was hot. No, you didn't, bro. You wiped your butt with those sleeves, man. But <laughs> that's what I was telling the guys, like, hey, if y'all guys ever need, like, if we're out on the job site, please give me a call man if i'm not there give me a call like right now like usually like on on jobs like this i'll drop the trailer and i have the guys kind of do that while i go do estimates or go do other things job related I'm like if y'all ever need to go to the restroom take the deucer deucer y'all call me i don't i'll drop everything whatever i'm doing pick y'all up I go please do not go to the restroom at customers property not the number one not the number two no like give me a call give me a call guys usually if they need to go do the number one we'll quarantine them in the back of the trailer lock you know close it up and they could go in a bottle which that's that's if it's an emergency but the deucer deucer no bro call me up We'll take you to the nearest gas station and you can drop the deucer. Woo! Speaking of deucer, deucer, guys. What do you guys do with your company when you got to go drop the deucer, deucer, and there's no place in sight? Have y'all guys gone to a customer's, maybe they lived out in an acre property with lots of forests and stuff. Have y'all gone out and dropped the deucer, deucer at somebody else's property instead of going to a... A gas station or a restaurant or do y'all drop it in a five gallon bucket I know this, <laughs> this is another story when we used to go camping we'd go fish sometimes you'd have to drop the deucer deucer on in a five gallon bucket you know what I'm saying but anyways guys y'all let me know in the comments below uh, marks I'm gonna go ahead and go and knock on the door because uh, mark is on the clock and I don't want him to be milking the clock, if you know what I'm talking about. Dropping that deucer deucer. He may not, I bet you he's on. I bet you he's watching my YouTube videos. If he is, it's all good. Take your time. All right, guys. Well, we're going to get out of here. I think we'll, we'll, we'll give you some more footage, guys. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I was going to end the vlog right now, but I'm going to give you all some more uh, footage. But please subscribe. We've got about 71.4 of you guys. That are watching my videos that haven't subscribed please subscribe hit that notification bell button when you hit that notification bell button hit it with power and hit it with might subscribe leave a comment guys let me know guys uh what you guys do when y'all guys are out in the field and y'all guys need to drop the deucer but anyways guys take care we're not gonna we're not gonna end the vlog right now i'll show y'all some more footage we still got it's about to be lunch so we may take another break another short break but anyways guys stay tuned stay tuned we're back here at the flower bed shrub cleanup we've got to show you some of the work that mark has put into it real quick and uh you know what i'll just let the man himself talk about it he's the one who did it i didn't do it what's up everybody good morning on this Friday morning here in the beautiful city of Rockwall, Texas. Sure Say, man, you better get off my camp. <laughs> Say, look, look, you see this right here? This is the uh, man, dude, right here. I'm good. All oh. right, anyways. <laughs>
<laughs> I don't need no camera angles. I got my own. See, look, watch. You can see my boogers. You can see my hat. You can see my ears, my side profile. Beautiful, beautiful side profile. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Back to what I was saying. Mr. Cameraman over here thought he had to correct my angles. <laughs> look at him, look. Anyways, we were just giving you an idea of what I was had going on here. Of course, I'm using the electric steel hedge trimmers. Of course, the S8 HSA 6, uh, 66s, I believe. Yes, that one right there. And I'm really just using that for the uh, bigger hedges. Uh, Baby Taco did a couple of these ones right here and just took the suckers off the top of them. But these guys right here, they grow pretty crazy. And we did these just about, a, what, two months ago? Month and a half, two months ago. Did these ones. I did them with the HSA 66 steels the last time. They worked really, really, really well. The only thing I had problems with was getting in between all the smaller bushes, trying to get the angles and trying to ball them out. But, uh, let me back up a little bit but these are the ones we're talking about and this time I chose to do them with some hand shears this is uh, an idea of what they look like beforehand I've done a little bit right here on this one not too much but uh, they got a little bit out of control in that little bit of time and this is what they look like after hand shearing on with she, oh look oh we got some live action you guys boss man at it see what he's got see what he's got you got this one i got this bottom part oh, the bottom part oh that's right uh we're working with a small handicap <laughs> you guys he's about two foot shorter than me oh man i'm, I'm about it I'm about to handicap somebody right here. <laughs> he said he's about to cut me down to size, huh? <laughs> but no, you guys, uh, trying to take some time, make these things look good. Last time we came, they were out of control. Uh, trimmed them up real good with the steel HSA 66s. Yep. Did a fantastic job, but this time I'm trying to add a little shape to them. Um, get them balled up and rounded a little bit better. Get them more flush so they can fill in a lot better. Uh, than what they have in the past uh, from not getting uh, trimmed or maintained um, so I kind of put a shape on them last time with the hedge trimmers because they were a little bit worse than this and this time I'm gonna do them with the uh, shears just to make them really pop out look good flower beds starting to look amazing Sec only second time doing it but it only takes a couple of times when you do it right to get it looking good you got baby over here in the tippy 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 top of that bad boy and then with the printers and a couple of those scragglies will take off a hit but yeah, look all the way around here got her all looking good mark over here got his gloves on yeah buddy we're trying to make some money too today i guess just a little bit from payday friday yeah buddy about that mark Oh, buddy. Hey, yeah, day, Friday. Buddy. I don't know, man. Y'all guys been BSing all week, man. Well, then your pocket should be really heavy this weekend. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We're just okay. doing you a favor. <laughs> Sorry. Don't let him fool you guys. We busted butt this week. It's been hot, 100 degrees, big yards. We get them done, though. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to work. You guys have a great Friday, a blessed Friday, and we'll see you later. All right, guys, we're here at the backyard of this same property, but this is definitely just the, uh, this is the backyard. Let me give you a little view of what's going on. So we got the fellas out here knocking out these shrubs. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. We just started, boom. So we had Mark already get those puppy rods from this crepe myrtle, knocked it out. 
So we got baby using the uh, battery power hedge trimmers, guys. It's that hedge trimmer. I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's probably one of my top money making tools that I have. Let's go ahead and get a closer look real quick of what we're using. It is from Steel. It's the HAS HSA 66. show you what we've already trimmed we've trimmed this up nice and pretty nice and domey I love the way that looks really soft I mean it feels like I kind of just lay on here and just uh, go to sleep take a little nap you know what I'm saying all right so we got Mark working on them hollies in the back great myrtles we're not gonna trim those up until till fall all we did was take the sucker rods up at the bottom of the base of this tree we got that knocked out of the way work on these uh hollies in the back we got these shrubs there piece of cake wham bam thank you ma'am well guys we're gonna go ahead and uh call this vlog a day these guys are bust to tail really simple easy uh so uh service that we're doing over here is flower bed shrub trimming service that we've got going on guys Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. You guys that haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna wait right here for a minute. Boom, I felt that. Y'all guys hit it, y'all hit it hard. Hit that bell button as well. I'm gonna wait. Ring ding dingling, thank you. And leave a comment guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait right here. Got it, got it, got it. Got that notification guys. Appreciate it guys, keep on watching. Please subscribe. Take care of each other, guys. Be good to somebody. If you're at the fast food restaurant, maybe uh, pay for the person that's behind you their lunch. How about that? I'm going to do that today. Bam. Yeah, I'm definitely going to treat these guys to some, uh, to some lunch. Maybe a burger, hot dog, corn dog, something from 7-Eleven. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.